it's not easy work if you do it all day, every day. Plenty of people clock into work in the morning, spend all day on their feet, and then can't wait for retirement. But in West Des Moines, there's a guy who refuses to retire. Even now that he just hit a big triple-digit milestone over the weekend, Eric Hansen's This Is Iowa shows us he's a man of few words who believes clocking in every day is what helps keep him young. At Valley West Uniforms, chefs and nurses in the market for scrubs and kitchen coats don't need a sizing chart. Thank you very much. They have the Dickersons. I can pretty much tell exactly what size someone needs to wear. Who cater their family business to teeth pullers, blood checkers, and caterers. People like that that just need some kind of a uniform for identity for their business. This store's identity <laughs> hasn't changed since the guy surrounded by steam in the back room retired from the insurance business in 81 and started this one. He once told his son, If you retire and sit in a rocking chair all day, you won't, you won't survive. So, 34 years after his retirement project started, Holly Dickerson still shows up every day. Well, I, I've always worked. Even after heart surgeries and a stroke that's impacted his speech, and he's not just taking up space. When things come in, they have creases in them, and so we try to get those creases out. Every smock and scrub in the store gets steamed by the senior, who just hit triple digits Saturday. Well, he can do what he darn well wants to, and he's 100 years old. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Holly's 100 and insists on being here on his feet five hours every day. I go pick him up at about 11 o'clock, and he steams here. Till about 3 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Monday through Friday. He loves to be here. That's just the bottom line. <laughs> Holly's voice might sound a hundred, but the way he works his steam wand and juggles those hangers has even him questioning his age. I don't feel like a hundred. At this point, Holly's 67 year old son might be closer to retirement than he is. I'd give my right arm for my mom or dad to be here. We're told. Time is a rare gift you can't get back. Yeah, every day I think about that. I do. Especially when it's time between a senior citizen and his dad, who just refuses to run out of steam. Holly's convinced he stayed this active because of all the time he spent mall walking around the time he could have retired during the Carter administration.